What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash itresolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are playing a very exciting deck, uh, Bant Garuda. This is not my original deck list. This is brought to you by Covert Go Blue, uh, who I believe originally created this specific list. Uh, one which has a few oddities, but I do think makes a lot of sense. So we're going to kind of run through this. The whole idea of this deck is to essentially get Garuda out, uh, which we do run this as our companion as well as three others in the main deck. Uh, and then we can essentially fill our graveyard, pull creatures back, uh, and those creatures tend to be very, very good. So there's some other stuff here that we'll talk about as well. Uh, our first uh, two-drop slot here, well, first of all, our stipulation here is that we do have to have everything at an even converted mana cost. Nothing can be an odd mana cost, so we're, we're seeing a bit of an odd thing where we're doing two, four, and then up, uh, essentially. Uh, so starting in the two-drop slot, we have four Charming Prince. Uh, it's a 2-2 two, two for 2 that gives us a little bit of, you know, interaction. Not only does it bounce uh, maybe a Garuda or, you know, any one of our other really, really good creatures, but it also in the early game just kind of gives us a little bit of filtering on the top of our deck as well as some life gain potential, depending on the deck we're against. If we're against Mono Red, probably going to want some life gains. So uh, in the early turns of the game, I think this is a very key draw. Uh, Incubation Druid is here as a one of. It's a mana ramper along with the Paradise Druid here to help us get to the Garuda just a little bit faster. Uh, Paradise Druid does a good job of kind of staying on the field uh, just because it does have Hexproof. You're probably not going to be attacking with it. And you may not even have to use it until you get uh, to Garuda mana. So uh, I do think this is a very, very strong include. Incubation Druid, I think is just a really nice one to have on the field. Uh, if you've got nothing else to do, adapt it, uh, and then you've all of a sudden got a lot more mana. Uh, but it also does block things like Fervent Champions pretty well, stuff like that. Uh, Growth Spiral, similar role. You draw a card, you put a land on the battlefield. Very st uh, strong to drop play. Uh, nothing wrong with it. It helps us get there a little bit quicker. Uh, in the four drop slot, uh, and this is where some of the things kind of start to come alive. Uh, I'm actually going to talk about Thassa first. So Thassa is a card that really, really is at its best in this deck because uh, it essentially bounces this, uh, the Garuda, which lets us then redo uh, its ability. So every time this comes into play, we get to put another few cards in the graveyard, hopefully pull something really, really strong back. Uh, and so this just gives us another way to do that. Additionally, Spark Double uh, gives us another way to do that. This essentially can copy the Garuda. Uh, it loses the legendary keyword, so we can get multiples of them out. And then again, it just continues the cycle. Uh, Elite Guard Mage, just a really strong four drop. It's a great way to uh, gain a little bit of life, draw a card. Uh, not a bad card to pull back with Garuda, but certainly we do have better options. So uh, we're kind of hoping for those. Uh, Amori, uh, the collector, is in here to cheapen all of our creature spells, uh, specifically Garuda. And so this gives us a nice way to hopefully get there just a little bit quicker. It's also just a 4-5 body uh, for 4, which is kind of insane. That's just really good value. Uh, as far as cards that we're hoping to get, obviously 3 Garuda here. We have 2 Endraze Forerunners, which is just a great card to end the game very, very quickly. Uh, it does not take long once you get this out. Uh, everything gains Vigilance, gains Trample, and plus 2, plus 2. Hopefully by that point, you've got a lot of stuff out. And so this generally is just, you know, you win the game. Uh, we also have a one of Dream Trawler as a way to uh, not only have something in the air, but gain a little bit of life gain. It's a hexproof, uh, conditionally hexproof creature. Uh, it's just a really, really strong card. So lots of really, really good stuff here. As far as our lands go, we are running a lot of them. So uh, we have one Plains, two Island, and five Forests. We are looking to play uh, more Forests because obviously we need it for Incubation Druid, Paradise Druid, as well as Growth Spiral. Uh, four Hollow Fountain, four Temple Garden, and four Breeding Pool. Pretty obvious includes. Uh, we have one Temple of Enlightenment, one Temple of Plenty, and two Temple of Mysteries. Again, we are very blue-green focused, so that makes sense. And then four Fabled Passage. Um, now, if you're counting up, that I believe is like 28 lands, uh, which is a lot. Uh, but I think it makes sense in a deck like this where we really, really need to hit our land drops. Uh, and ramp into this. Once this is out, we are in pretty good shape. So we're going to see how this goes. I have not played with this deck yet. 
I've played against this deck uh, quite a bit, and I did not like it. Uh, I did not like playing against it at all. Uh, so it's really, really cool to be able to hopefully, you know, take home a few games with it. We'll see. Um, I, I'm loving this standard environment, guys. This is so, so fun. Um, I'm loving just testing new decks. There's so many new ones out there. Uh, it's really great to be able to, to do what we're doing. So, uh, oh, they have, okay. Um, yes, we will keep this. Uh, we do have the growth spiral, which is great. Two of them, in fact. To help us get to this much, much quicker. Sure. Temple. Let's do this and pass. Um, this is going to be a learning experience for me. As I said, I have not played with this yet. So uh, I'm, I'm sure misplay is incoming, but we will see. Go ahead and grow spiral here. And we'll get a temple down. Gotta love the Skylands. Um... I kind of think we keep that. Uh, it's not an amazing card, but it does get us here a lot quicker, which is worth it. Uh, let's just play a forest. And we'll we'll plan to double grow spiral. I mean, once we once we get this out, this is going to be amazing. So Let's go ahead and do this. Let's get you down. Uh, don't particularly care to have that. Um, there we go. So now we already have six mana, <laughs> uh, which is pretty insane. So we can just get this down then, and we'll be in hopefully pretty good shape. Once we have Thassa down as well, we'll be really, really set. Triple Growth Spiral turns out is pretty helpful. Uh... Yeah, let's play land. Let's just go ahead and get him out there. See what we get. Let's go to our elite guard mage here. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, I do think, actually, though, we might lean on the Thassa a little bit more. We'll see. We will see. Uh, this definitely is a bit of a problem. Like, we do have to kind of worry about this. Um, but we... We might be okay. If we draw a land, we can actually Thassa and Spark Double. Um, so, you know, we'll play Thassa out, Spark Double this, and then see what we get. Uh, but this is exactly what this deck is looking to do. Just fill the graveyard. We do actually, if I'm not mistaken, we can steal our, our opponent's creatures as well. So, yeah. Sure. Yes, please do it. Do it. This is another thing about this deck is like we we can chump here and it's fine. It doesn't matter that much for us. Um, but I don't think, yeah, I didn't think they would be wanting to, to do that. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We did not draw our land, uh, which is not the worst thing in the world. Uh, let's Thassa. Let's Charming Prince. And what we're going to do, okay, well, there you go. We won. Okay, so uh, we were essentially just going to get double double bounces there, which I think would have been pretty good. Uh, that was fun. Cool. Uh, so that was pretty quick. Let's go ahead and jump into game two. Uh, this deck is awesome, guys. I love this. Uh, I did have a Simic version that I was kind of playing around with that... Um, I saw another list essentially that did not run white. Uh, I think you do have to run white in this. I, I tried out the, the Simic version, just wasn't really doing it for me. Um, it, it ran things like Circuitous Route and things like that to really, really uh, get you there quickly, but it wasn't as consistent, I think. Um, you did get a lot of lands out, which was cool, but like, I don't think that was worth it. Cool. Uh, I did keep this hand. We don't have white for the elite guard mage, which may be a problem. Um, but I'm hoping with growth spiral and a couple draws here, we'll be okay. Um, this is much less of a ramp hand than the previous. Uh, that's actually quite good. And we'll pass. 
Probably could have played blue there and it would have been better, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. Okay. Uh, sure. Gotta like Thassa. Um, let's go ahead and get Thassa down. Fortunately, nothing to bounce this turn, but that's okay. Um, so given one more land, we are two turns away from this, which is great. Uh, that helps. Hmm. I'm going to put that on the bottom. Uh, this does have Hexproof, so we should be good to uh, to play Garuda next turn. Um, I'm just going to submit zero. There's there's no need. Sure. Again, we're seeing the power there of, of the Hexproof. Um, had this been able to hit this, we would have been in bad shape this turn. Although that also really, really helps. So... Um, Let's go ahead and fetch out. Let's go ahead and fetch out our. Uh... Cool, let's do it. Loving this, loving this, loving this. Uh, they've got a Sphinx. Yeah, I'm gonna steal the Sphinx. Uh, I'll attack here with Asa. Uh, let's bounce, Garuda. This is so ridiculous. Oh, 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 yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah, I know that we had, you know, another Garuda, but Dream Trawler, guys, like, come on. And look at how strong this board presence is all of a sudden. <laughs> like, Sure. It's a good one. Also a good one. <coughs> Excuse me. Discarding a Deafening Clarion. Turns out that's not very helpful in this matchup. <laughs> Would have gotten our Paradise Druid for the record, but... Uh, yeah. So we get to scry one. That's nice. Uh, don't actually think we need the land. Cool. Um, we're really just looking for the end raise Forerunners. So I'm going to do this. Fortunately, didn't get it there, but uh, we did get Charming Prince. We will bounce our original. Okay, uh, I guess we can grow Spiral here too. It doesn't really, I mean, it does pump up the uh, Dream Trawler a little bit. Okay, so this is just a really big boy. Okay. I'm going to do that. And I think that's it, actually. Sure. Could have also attacked here, but I don't think it needed to be that way. And again, the cool thing about this, I'm just going to be able to get the Dream Trawler back. Um, in fact, at the end of this turn. <laughs> uh, how do I want to do this? I'm going to bounce this. Okay, so this comes back. Can't take anything there. Uh, oh, the creature's exiled. Okay, that makes sense. I don't know exactly how this is working, so I'm just kind of testing a theory here. I'm just going to gain some life? I don't really know how this works. Okay, it comes in at the next end step. That makes sense. I just, I wasn't really sure how that exactly would work, so I thought it would be worth it to try. Sure. They get their Sphinx back. That's fine. This is a cool game, by the way. This is a very powerful deck. Uh, with this guy at the helm, um, 
you really get some powerful stuff. Now, you kind of do nothing for a few turns, but that's okay. Um, you. Yeah. You. We do have to be careful, I guess, about the number of cards that we're doing this with. Um, we do have... Oh, well, I mean... Feeling good. That was it. Hmm. Man, this deck is cool, guys. Uh, oh, I'm realizing, sorry, we're dropping frames. I don't know 100% why. We've been having network issues here, so uh, we're also in a bit of a storm. So we will try and push through for game three. But so far, feeling amazing with this deck. Absolutely love it. Oh, this might be my new favorite standard deck. This is just so cool. <clears throat> I do want to know what is your favorite standard deck right now? Um, obviously we're seeing a lot of different ones and I think there's a lot of really good ones. This one included, but things like, th so things that are sticking out to me, um, there's a Mardu humans list that I think is phenomenal. Uh, we actually played it so you can watch that if you'd like. There's also a few different lists just running around YouTube. Um, there's a Rakdos sacrifice list. Uh, as well as a mono black sacrifice list. I'm not sure which one's better. Uh, I kind of like them both. Uh, I, I think I prefer Rakdos, but not 100%. Um, there is... I'm trying to think of the other decks that we've... Oh, uh, there's a few Phoenix decks running around. Uh, some of them are just purely... Uh, is it Phoenix? Some of them are running uh, Teamer, which I think is pretty good. Um, We'll keep this. This is a bit of a slow hand. We don't have really any rampers, but Amori does uh, cheapen our stuff, which is worth it. Let's go ahead and get this out. Uh, like, we do need lands. I guess we keep it. I don't love that. I don't love that a lot, but that's okay. Uh, oh, there's the Demir Flash deck, which is, like, stupid good. Um... There's a couple of flash decks, but the Demir one in particular seems great to me. Uh, let's try to. I think that's our best bet here. Mm hmm. I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna keep that on top. They're running an island turn one. That makes me kind of think they they might be a flash deck. That's a that's a big read off of just an island, so that may be incorrect. But I just want to see. Uh, okay, let's play that tapped. Let's swing in first. I'm gonna end my turn here. See what they do, if anything. Yep. So now we will do this. We'll put that down. So this is going to be the flash deck. That was a lucky read. Um, and that is going to be a struggle, I would argue. Um, all right, let's do this first. We're going to continue attacking here. Um, I don't think there's a huge reason not to. If anything, it entices them maybe to uh, to try and block. Uh, let's get Amori out, or let's try. They've almost assuredly got a counter here. If this is the Demir Flash, then it seems like they are stuck on black, though, which is pretty key. Uh, a lot of the cards in that, that deck need it. Um, they do still have access to all the counter spells, like Neutralize and stuff like that, which is a problem. Um, this is very much a bait, uh, because obviously this enables a lot, but um, may not necessarily be something they're interested in countering. Um, they may be just interested in countering the Garuda. Good turn on their end. Uh, creature. 
They also could just have like a brazen borrower, which, you know, bounce this, all of a sudden we get less value, uh, which could be a problem, but we'll see. All right, no land. Makes sense to play the one in the hand, not the one elsewhere, uh, just for the simple fact that this one we always have access to. This one we do not. Uh, so let's go ahead and play this one first. I'm assuming they're going to counter. Yep, okay. And I'm glad we did that beforehand, so we did not just attack into that. Because um, they very easily could have... Uh, if they had any draw spell, for instance, they would have been in, in good shape. It's going to be a grind. I don't know if we're going to make this one, but we'll see. This dude is good. Sure. Now they're drawing extra cards. That's fantastic. <laughs> kind of surprised. Am I not going to attack with both? I don't really see why they wouldn't, but... I mean, yeah, I can double block, I guess, but I kind of am not interested in doing that knowing that I did not hit a land last turn. And there's our land. Um, huh, huh. Let's try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but we got to try it. We got to make them have the counter. Okay, they do. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh... Well, we are officially in a bad position. <laughs> um, we do have this that'll, you know, effectively block this if we can land it. <clears throat> Here, I'm all too happy to just block. We also don't particularly need the Amori anymore. Um, however, it does provide a nice threat to block, like, the, the Cunning Knight Bonder. Um... Let's try and do this. They could just have a counter here again. In which case, we are in definitely a bad position. <laughs> Opponent really thinking. Yep. Man. I mean, why not? I guess, right? Man. Yeah, I think that's game. Uh, unless we just get very, very lucky this next turn, there is no way uh, that we can we can survive this. <clears throat> Happy to block here. But they're, I mean, they're going to be drawing two cards off of this. Um, which is going to give them more than enough ammo for us to probably not have a good turn. And that's not helpful. So we will go ahead and concede here. Unfortunately, didn't get that last game. But still, two games up. That's a pretty good showing from this deck. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have the best draws there. And we really didn't have have much to go off so they had the counters they got it but that was a very very fun game this deck is awesome definitely going to be playing a second video with this one so do stay tuned for that if you enjoyed this one as always make sure to leave a like or a comment down below uh, and make sure to subscribe as well if you're not already we really do appreciate all of the support that we've been getting over the last week or so um, we've been really trying to get these videos out so that way you know you guys can see us play we're we're trying to make sure that we're getting stuff out that you guys are interested in if you've got a deck list or you've got some kind of uh, suggestions for deck lists that we've already played, leave them down below. We'd, we'd be, we would love to revisit some of the decks or just try some new ones. So really do appreciate it though, guys. Thank you so much. And I will see you hopefully very soon in the next gameplay video.